up my darlings it's your girl Gwenda welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Gwendolyn but I go by Gwenda here um I do all things fashion beauty hair nails vlogs all that stuff so if you are interested in that content make sure to keep on watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe that subscribe button so as you can see by the title, I am recreating my birthday look. So, uh, my birthday was on the 4th, and I was not able to film my whole process getting ready because I was kind of in a rush. And yeah, I wasn't able to film it. But today I'm going to show you what, just what I did. And I'll also um, insert a picture. Sorry if the camera's moving. But I'll also insert a picture on um, how it looked the day of i turned 19 big grown girl you feel me big grown but yeah so let's go ahead and get started um first of all i put on a little primer oh y'all do y'all see this new location that i brought y'all to so yeah i was feeling kind of bad for always putting y'all in the bathroom so um yeah this is my room welcome this is where the magic happens so i don't have a designated spot for y'all so i was like let me just put aside a little portion of my room to um you know how y'all guys stay in so please let me know if this works for y'all if y'all have any recommendation recommendations on how i can fix this place up but yeah this is literally like my closet door and then my curtain and i feel like the whites like i had this um this little piece of art that i put on my um wall and i feel like it kind of matches and i brought this plant from downstairs to kind of fit the aesthetic of like a floral background um but yeah please let me know what you think i think this is like a cute little setting to do my videos now like my makeup videos um you know or no not my skincare because skincare i need water like i need a sink but i can do my, my makeup videos here maybe my hair videos as well i'm gonna go ahead with my foundation that i always use nyx can't stop won't stop and yeah i feel like my birthday look was pretty minimum like i didn't really do much um but y'all are gonna see what it looks like in the end but yeah i turned 19 um I guess I'll just have a little chat with y'all. Um, 19 years of my life went by pretty fast. Like, I feel like, yeah, it went by pretty fast because I feel like I didn't really do much. Like, in my childhood, well, like, in my childhood, like, I feel like I had a pretty normal childhood. Um, I am an Im immigrant. I came here when I was really young, and I am now a citizen of the U.S., um i i encountered a lot of stuff okay like the american school system especially public schools i feel like a lot of us go through a lot and nobody really talks about that especially the immigrants but when i first came here y'all i was bullied because <laughs> i was nigerian and like african you know the whole fresh off the boat and african booty scratcher stuff like that you know but um I feel like, I feel like, <laughs> this is gonna sound so bad, but I feel like everybody needs a little bullying in their life. So, I don't think the bullying was, like, too drastic. It did get a certain point, but it wasn't, like, when I was little. But I feel like I went through what every child usually goes through um, growing up in America. And it is what it is. But uh, I feel like the most influential years of my life was high school yeah like the years during my high school years um the most being my sophomore year of high school i feel like i really kind of lost myself i really got insecure to like a point where <clears throat> excuse me like i would hate looking myself in the mirror like i would literally um i don't know if y'all know but like when you go to a public school bathroom there's a sink right there's a sink and by the sink there's always like a a mirror y'all i would use the bathroom go out like look down on my way to the sink so i wouldn't have to look at my reflection and 
wash my hands and then leave like i got so insecure at that point and um i'm not sure why that is like i know why that is because i got bullied online a lot um let me just tell y'all about that a little bit. So I had a Finsta. If you don't know what Finsta is, a Finsta is basically a spam Instagram account where you basically um, have a small following. I mean, at least some people do. But some people do have public Instagrams, like public Finstas that have a lot of followers. But like, if you were like a normal person, you would have like a private Finsta and you will have um, a smaller amount of followers than you have on your main account. Um, Instagram. Ooh, I messed that up. Um, yeah, a smaller amount than you have on your main account. And, um, on this, you just, I feel like you are open to a whole new set of people. Because sometimes it's people, like, that you really don't even know. Like, it's people, like, from across, like, the, not across the world, but, like, across the U.S. Like, they can be located in another, um, another state, you know? You don't really, like, know them like that, like that. Or they can be, they can even be in the same state as you, but, like, a different county you know what i mean like it's just random people that follow the same people that they don't really know okay so it's a bunch of people basically a bunch of people you don't know basically that's what a fence is you follow a bunch of people you don't know and you share details of your life that you usually share with people like that you're close to but it was all cool because like you don't really know these people and like they, they really can't judge you because you don't know me you know you know what i mean so like it was cool and all um i do enjoy that fin i did enjoy finsta at a point because i felt like i could finally like express myself because i feel like um i've been shut down a lot of times in my life where i couldn't really talk about certain things but like i feel like finsta like was like like twitter you know what i mean like i feel like since it was kind of like a twitter and you had to have thick skin because a lot of things that people talked about like like sometimes like if you had different views you would just have to learn how to like just control yourself and deal with what they were saying you know what i mean but also with having a finsta um there's a lot of criticism like um well i'm not even gonna say because of this stuff but like instagram in general like i feel like if you don't look a certain way you're going to get some negative feedback you know it's like it's kind of like if you're not pretty, you can't talk. You know what I mean? So, let's just start off by saying beauty is subjective. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. You can't tell somebody else that they're not beautiful because they don't be, like they don't meet up to your beauty standards. And everybody is beautiful in their own way and not just saying that just to say that and be that little peacemaker. I'm literally saying that if someone believes that they're beautiful, you have no right to go ahead and tell them, "Oh, no, they're not pretty." No, you just stop it, you know? Um, I feel like the only, um, the only time I do agree to be like, oh yeah, she's ugly, is if your attitude's ugly. You can be the most beautiful, like, the most beautiful person in the world, but if you're, if that attitude ugly, girl, you're hideous, okay? So just, just, you know, like, work on that. But the whole physical beauty stuff, y'all, these are earthly things. The, really, the most important thing that matters is your soul, your spirit, your mindset, your attitude, you know, your character. Like, if I'm telling you that you're beautiful, I'm not even looking at, like, like, like I'll tell people that they're beautiful if they look nice, you know? But, like, if you act like a bee, you know, I'm not going to tell you that you're beautiful, okay? Yes, of course you may be physically visually um pleasing to the eye but are you a beautiful person no you're not you know but um like i was saying on finsta yeah if you were not pretty pretty you couldn't you 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 literally don't have enough to say like you can't you don't have room to to talk about any type of way that you feel um you know so now, I'm not going to hold you, y'all. I do believe that I personally glowed up. Not even physically, even though, yes, I have glowed up physically. And if you if you don't think so, girl, look at my throwbacks. Mm. But, um, I am messing. My brows are never good. Like, every time I do my brows on camera, it sucks. But, yeah, look at my throwbacks. 
<clears throat> okay, I've I've come a long way, and I'm talking about like not even throwbacks from when I was little. I'm talking about throwbacks from like last year, two years ago. Like I have glowed up mentally, physically. Um, I'm still working on the spiritually part, y'all. Bear with me. I'm still I'm still working on that. But I have I have progressed, you know, and that's good to do every year to progress little by little. You know, I'm not saying that like everybody has to have like a major glow, a major transformation, but like you're supposed to be growing in every aspect of your life, not just in age, you know? Um I really hope I'm able to finish because I actually have some stuff to do. But I really wanted to update this for you because I hate procrastinating. I pro I procrastinate so much and I need to stop it. And I was procrastinating this video. I was supposed to film this video literally monday today is thursday so i was like no today i need to record this video for my darlings because they deserve because they deserve it so here we are so i'm actually trying to make sure i'm using my time effectively i need to work on time management y'all oh my gosh if y'all have good time management practices please 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 reach out to me or comment down below actually and let me know what you do to stay on track because your girl is a college student a uh, college student your girl is um at work not full well i don't know if no it's not full time i work part time yeah i work part time because i don't work five days a week i work three days a week um but i work nine to five okay all right and i'm a student and i do youtube and i'm trying to be an influencer you know and i have to make time for myself and i just started getting back on my workout routine which i will be um showing y'all i will be making some videos about my workout routine for y'all so that's coming um that's coming soon so i've been working on that so like i really need to make sure that yeah my eyebrows are not even sisters cousins nothing they're just strangers that don't even know each other and i need to wax my brows um yeah i need to wax my brows because if you don't know i like to shave my brows so i can give my oh my god no so i can give myself an arch um so i like to shave them like the ends of my brows if you if you like doing that um comment down below because I know I'm not the only one, but I like doing that. I feel like some people think that my eyebrows are just naturally like this, but no, I, I, I do this on purpose. Like, I shave the ends of it on purpose so I can change up the looks sometimes, you know? Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, so um, back to the fences situation. So the fences situation, yeah, you can't talk if you're not pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know if I should ask. Well, I'm not saying anybody's name. I don't know if anybody, nobody really know, will know who I'm talking about because I'm not really friends with a lot of people anymore. I'll get, I'll get into that later, but um, I'm going to go ahead and do my, con oh, I'm going to use the same concealer I used for my brows just now, right here. Um, but yeah, there's this one girl that I was friends with and she was dating this guy and this guy, <laughs> he was such a a-hole, oh gosh. He was such an a-hole, y'all. Um, like, he wasn't an a-hole. Okay, look. So, like, at at the beginning, I thought they were cute. Like, at the beginning, I was like, oh, yes, I'm so happy for you. Yes, girl. Yes, yes, yes. Like, you got you a little boo tang, you know? Like, I was really happy for her. And then he did something that was really, really off. Like, that nobody should do to a girl. Like, I don't care if y'all are dating or not. But, like, they were dating. But, like... Even if they weren't dating, like, you shouldn't do that to anybody, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, he did something really sketch. And I called him out for it. I called him out for it, straight up. I called him out for it. And I was like, um... I don't know what I said. This was, like, two years ago. I don't remember what I said. But I called him out for it. And he was basically, um... I don't know. I don't remember much, to be honest. But he basically was like, shut up, because you're ugly. <laughs> oh my gosh, so he was basically like, he was basically like clowning me 
because of how I look. I'm like, sir, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about looks. We're not talking about how you look, sir. I'm talking about your character. Like, you're a bad person for what you just did. Like, where did looks come into the, the conversation, you know? Where I was told to shut up because I was ugly. Like, okay, like, you're still a bad person for what you did. Like, me being ugly doesn't change that, you know what I mean? Um... I started talking to this guy, and um, on Finsta, when you like somebody, I feel like people were like a little bit bold back then. Not even back then, I don't know why I'm saying back then, like it wasn't just two years ago. But people were a little like outgoing back then. So, um, um, I was saying that I'm going to use this color right here to um, start doing my eyeshadow. So then the next time that happened was when... Um, what happened oh yeah, yeah, yeah sorry i completely forgot that i already told you all this but yeah i um like this guy i had a crush on him and he liked me too and we started talking a little bit and then um on finsta some people are kind of bold sometimes and um uh what happened i don't remember what happened but, um, oh no, no. So yeah, he posted me and he was basically like, oh, one of my most attractive followers, right? Cause like, I was looking cute. I thought it was looking cute. Like if I go back into that picture now, I'll be like, ooh, girl, why'd you look like this? But I felt like I personally looked cute in that picture. So, so yeah, after he posted that, right? Let's give it a couple hours, you know? He, um this other guy that was supposed to be my friend actually he was supposed to be oh and then i'm taking this um lighter orange color and i'm putting it near the top but yeah he was supposed to be my friend actually but um he reposted what the guy had posted and was like <laughs> she's ugly I'm laughing now but it hurted it, it didn't hurt it. it hurt it isn't a word but it hurts sorry yeah i'm laughing now but it really hurt like when i was little like not little but like back then y'all and like listen y'all probably like okay somebody called you ugly that's it like girl like get over it listen listen i'm getting to that i'm getting to that um i'm gonna go in with my black and i'm gonna put that right here i think i did this wrong this is not how I did it, but it's okay. Um, but yeah, um, y'all are probably like, okay, somebody called you ugly, like, that's it, like, girl, get over it, you know, like, that's it. No, y'all, he posted this, right? Mind you, this guy, like, it's a Finsta, it's a Finsta, right? But this guy has, like, a lot of followers, like, Finsta, like, my Finsta had, like, probably, like, 200 to 400 people on it. Maybe even less, I'm not really sure, during this time. Because I had a multiple um, that I started and restarted. So I don't know if it's this one that had um, 400 or something. I don't remember. But I know I did not have as much as he had. He This this dude probably had like a thousand followers, right? So, and then the guy I liked, he didn't have that many either. He, was, he had about like 300, 400, right? So taking that knowledge... That he posted it on his Finsta, which had like 1,000 people on it. People I don't really know like that. It's people in my area. Some people that know me, right? And he posted that. Saying that I was ugly, right? And that I had no, that the guy that liked me had no taste in girls. <laughs> oh my god y'all so y'all are probably like okay okay and you were hurt why listen he posted that right he made that caption right tell me why there was hundreds i'm talking about hundreds hundreds over a hundred comment comments over a hundred comments basically saying yeah she ugly somebody call me venom Somebody said I look like a man. Somebody said I look hideous. Somebody said, um, somebody said something else. I don't remember. I don't remember what they said. 
Um, but yeah, the one that really stuck with me was Venom. I'm like, y'all think I look like Venom? Let me insert a picture of what Venom looks like. Venom. The villain. The, the monster. Venom. Y'all, I look like... I look like Venom? Like what? You know what I mean? Like, I do not look like no Venom, you know? Like I didn't then and I don't now, but that's what people were saying. So imagine being posted on a big page like that, saying that like your crush has no taste in got girls cause he thinks that you're attractive. She looks like a man. She looks like this, she looks like that, laughing emojis, LMFAO, LOL, laughing my face off, laughing my head off, laughing everything off, obviously, because that was just so funny, right? That, like, I was just that ugly or something, <laughs> I suppose. But, um, all right, so my, I just need a camera because the, the cam, the, video shut off again but my last one came back up so i'm just gonna keep on talking and hopefully all the footage i have comes back up so i can just choose and pick which ones i really like um but yeah this is basically the look i did i'm really happy with myself but yeah um yeah after seeing those comments i was sad i didn't cry until night like this was like when this happened this happened like probably like the afternoon um, I would have to say like 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock so I didn't cry until like late that night and I was really sad because I was like am I for real ugly like and nobody told me <laughs> um yeah like I feel like I never had like confidence like that like I'm working on it like well I'm not even working on it I, I got it like I'm a bad B. <laughs> okay period like I, I look good like I know I look good like if you tell me that I don't look good like seriously like you're a hater jealousy is a disease and you need to get well soon because it does not look good on you you know because girl i look good okay like i look good like i know i have makeup on um i know i have makeup on right now and y'all probably like yeah because you have makeup no I, I wake up i look in the mirror i'm like yes you look good okay and i feel like everybody should be like that like it's not even a cocky thing at all i'm not cocky at all don't don't even play with me like that but I feel like every girl should feel, I feel like every girl should feel like they're that beat, you know? You know what I mean? Like, you need to feel like you rule the world, you feel me? Because first of all, we're women. <laughs> women do rule the world, first of all. So let's, let's get into that, okay? Let's get into that. We do rule the world. Um, so yeah, you just start acting like it okay even if you're not confident fake it to your make it fake it to your make it and like repeat it to yourself every day you're gonna start yeah, like i was saying um something about the human mind is that if you keep repeating one thing to it it's gonna automatically believe it whether it's positive or negative so it's really important to make sure that you're treating yourself with kindness and um um yeah just feeding yourself kindness like kind words like make sure you're treating like yourself with care because things that you say a lot of things that we say to ourselves we would not repeat that sentence to another person so please treat yourself well treat yourself with love you know what i mean but yeah i'm just adding some black under my eye oh something about black I love it so much. If you go to my um my Instagram feed, like literally all my in all my posts, I'm wearing black. They're like there's like a couple I have like a white or red or yeah, I think white or red in it. But like the rest are black. This is really hard for me to do without poking my eye. I don't know how people do this. Oh god. I wish I was really good at makeup. If I was really good at makeup, like, I would have been made it. Like, I would have opened up, like, a little shop or something and be like, Come get your makeup done by Lynn, by Gwen Doll. 
but yeah um and the friends I had during that period of time, they were really supportive. They were like, they were like reposted pictures of me. And they were like, my girl not ugly. I was like, period. <laughs> I was like, period, sis. Tell them that I'm not ugly. Like, these people are playing with me. Yeah, this is basically the look, y'all. This is this is what I did for my birthday, literally. Well, it wasn't. Um, I I did the eyeshadow in a di different sequence, but this is the look that i did maybe even a little bit better honestly for being honest for being honest this is like maybe a little bit better than what i did but yeah as long as it's blended i don't care but yeah this is basically the the look i did probably even better sorry i have my camera set in the back so i know when my phone turns off because not my camera but like my laptop camera it's so like when i see it fall off um come off i'll be like okay it's time to fix it but yeah um i hope y'all like this background i feel like it's kind of like you know it's kind of i'm kind of feeling it you know i feel a little professional or whatever and i hope that my is my head in the frame oh my god my head is not in the frame has it not been in the frame this whole time oh my god has not been in the frame this whole time it's okay it's whatever um i'm doing makeup anyways you don't have to see my head um let me go ahead and do my my hair so for my hair ooh, i curled it but it took me so long to do the curls that i did on my um on my birthday it took it took me so long like i really didn't know how to do my curls like with a because i have a flat iron i didn't have a curling iron or anything so I used my flat iron and I did it. Um, let me go get um, a comb. Yeah, so I got my comb. So, yeah, I'm not going to do my hair how I did it cause, simply because it just took me so long on my birthday. And I know it's going to take me forever here. But I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, let's, let me talk about the hair just in case y'all like it. This is from Eunice, Eunice, whatever you, however you pronounce it. And it's a, um, a middle part closure frontal i don't know <laughs> y'all i don't know i just if it's cute I, I just buy it but i didn't know it was just the middle part i thought it was like um i thought it was like a full frontal um but the price is decent i don't remember how much i pay for it i feel like once i buy stuff i forget about the price but i feel like it was like 114 and this is is this 18 inches 14 inches i don't remember but it was i think it's 18 inches but it's really cute i really like the blonde in the front i was like yes this is my birthday here like i'm gonna wear this for my birthday oh it's most definitely sliding off um yeah hold on one second but yeah you really don't have to do much to this hair um for this hair all I did was um, cut out some edges. I should have recorded a video. But yeah, like I was saying before, my camera cut off again. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. It's just acting up. Um, but yeah, I was going to record a video, but it would have been like really short. All I literally did was cut out the edges, lay it down, and leave the wig on my head. Like I didn't spray it down, nothing. I just used um, gel um, for today's purposes. I actually had a class this morning, <laughs> and I was... I didn't want to do much so i just put the wig on and like as you can see it's laying flat like you can add glue or like spray anything you want to it but it's not necessary like this is a really uh simple wig um last but not least i'm gonna put on my lashes um i cannot put lashes on camera for nothing so let's see how this works out but um yeah i just wanted to share that little story time with y'all uh, about the time I got cyber bullied um, when I was 16 and how that affected my um, my confidence like even though I wasn't really confident like that before like I was confident but I wasn't but I was faking confident you know what I mean like now I'm actually confident like I can literally say that I'm that B you know I can literally say like I'm beautiful, like, I'm bad, like, I'm fine, like, I'm, you know, I am that, 
you know i'm the sh you know you know what i mean but like back then i was just like yeah i'm so cute no one i was front you know <laughs> like <laughs> but you know it's like you live and you learn you know and i'm so happy that like i finally learned how to love myself because y'all is lit <laughs> when you know that you're pretty like you genuinely like when you genuinely know am i saying that word right sometimes it's hard for me to pronounce words genuinely when you genuinely know that you are beautiful y'all you're gonna enjoy life oh my god oh my god oh my god i can't i can't no i can't <laughs> i cannot oh my god this is a mess i gotta do it to the bathroom Y'all, okay, let, let's try the other one. Sometimes, sometimes, okay. I can't, I can't, I can't. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Do I got it? No, I don't got it. Hold on one second, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, <laughs> is that right? Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think I got that one. Y'all, I'm, I'm in a good mood today, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me let me tell y'all. So yesterday, I told y'all how I was on my workout journey again, right? Yesterday night, I worked out, y'all. Like, I worked out them glutes, these legs, these abs. I woke up so refreshed this morning, y'all. Um, So this is what I do. I eat a light dinner, right? I eat a light dinner. Um, I go straight upstairs, do my workout for 30 minutes to an hour, take a shower, do some schoolwork, then I go to bed. Y'all, I woke up so refreshed. Like, I put on a cute little fit that kind of showed off my curves, you know? And, like, I just felt so good this morning. Like, I strongly recommend working out at night, okay? Like, especially if you're a day person, work out at night so, like, you can get all the stuff you know you're done during the day um i'm gonna admit that i think i'm a night person actually like i think that i should do most of my work at night because that's when i'm like the most focused i feel like during the day my mind races around like every single thing you know like during the day i feel like i could be doing everything else except for what like what i'm supposed to be doing which is like schoolwork. So I feel like at night is when I'm like, okay, we gotta get this done. Okay, I gotta write this paper. And I'll be brrr, done, you know? But I need sleep too. So I kind of kind of force myself to do it during the day. But I still do work at night too. So I kind of work all day. Like from morning till night. So yeah my lashes always look crooked it doesn't matter what day it is like there's like every single time i put on lashes one is not like one is off like i feel like this one's off now i feel like this one looks better i want it to look just like that and i don't know if that's gonna work okay this is good y'all okay period um but yeah what i just did on my birthday was curl these like these, I don't know what they're called, but like these little large curls that curl back. I did that for my birthday. Um. And. And that is all my darlings. This is the birthday look I did for my birthday. Um, so sorry I could not record it for you on the day of. It, it was simply kind of like last minute, kind of quick. Like, I wouldn't be able to talk to you at all. Y'all would just see me, you know? But I really hope that you like this video. I really hope that you like this new setup. I really like it. I feel like this is a vibe. I feel like I could like do this every single time I do like hair or makeup. Like, this is, this is a little simple, you know, a little something different but i really like it um yeah so don't forget to like comment and subscribe um thank you so much for 55 subscribers i think we're at 55 right now like thank you so much we have come a long way i started at zero zero and now we're at 55 like four months later love y'all for real so yeah don't forget to like comment subscribe um don't forget to follow me on my socials twitter and instagram the Gwendol. and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.